Okay, so we're at Jacob's Beach. We are at Jacob's Beach on February 24th. Oh, no, I keep saying February. It's September, guys. September 24th. <laughs> he wants Christmas and all that stuff to be over with, including Valentine's Day. Just move on. That's right. I want to get closer to spring. <laughs> I want to get back to springtime. <laughs> Since we missed out on it this year. I know. This is where we used to take our sups out. Our sups, our stand-up paddle boards. And then because of COVID, we couldn't even get near the beach. So this is actually our first time here all year. Yeah, and the reason we couldn't get near the beach or anywhere else really for that matter is because we have an absolute moron for a governor here in Connecticut. <laughs> he's a Democrat and he's a moron. Democrat equals moron, moron equals Democrat for those of you who don't pay attention. But it's unfortunate because uh, of all the restrictions this year, we didn't even get a chance to blow up our subs. Never mind, take them out. Um, and hopefully that'll all disappear by next year and we'll be able to enjoy our shoreline next year when all this is behind us. And actually it's all gonna be behind us November 3rd when the election is over and all the politics will end. And no more political talk for us either. <laughs> yeah, I'm, we're really sick of it yeah. as I'm sure so many of you are as well regardless of what side of the fence you're on. But anyway, getting back to cycling, which is much more important than politics any day of the week. Um, we're here at Jacob's Beach. This is one of the places that we almost always ride to on our rides, uh, unless we head in an entirely different direction. But this is part of our Southern route, as we call it. Yep. And I'm sure this camera's gonna pick it up, but Long Island Sound out there, it's beautiful. And today is like dead calm. I call it sunburn weather. Yeah, it's kind of a, a nice day in respect that uh, it's slightly overcast and very warm, very, very comfortable. I'm in short sleeves and short pants today. I should have been. And you should have been. <laughs> um, but there's a milky cloud uh, layer overhead, not bright sunshine. It's just the kind of day that I'm standing out here and I could actually feel a little bit of sweat, a little bit of moisture on my skin because I'm, we're standing right in front of the sun where the sun's, we're facing the sun. Uh, but nevertheless, for a for late September day, really, really beautiful weather. And this is actually the time of year we really look forward to riding the most. I know, and pretty soon we're gonna have foliage, the leaves turning. We had a drought this summer, and so a lot of the leaves started to just crunch up and fall early. But I did see some, some signs of there is, there is some signs of color and it is yeah. kind of, it is a little early, especially along the shoreline for any sort of color to start showing up. But Susan's right, we've had a drought this year and um, everything is crispy. Um, so I don't know, I think when you have a very dry conditions, fall colors are not very good. I can, I can never remember if it's when it's really wet, you get gray colors or if when it's really dry, you get gray colors. But based on the trees in our backyard, um, every day every week we can really notice the difference in them they're no longer that vibrant green that they were during the summer uh july and august they already they started to fade because of lack of water and these are sugar maple trees uh, right now um, they're turning more brown than they are color so my suspicion is it's not going to be a very colorful fall for us at least but you know what less leaves to rake up no no there's the same <laughs> amount of leaves that just probably fall earlier <laughs> Ah, well, we had one huge tree fall during a tropical storm that came through Isaias. I think I'm saying it correctly. Um, hit our fence and was leaning awfully close to the garage. But this great company came along and within 24 hours they had the tree down, cleaned up and nice. Yeah, the tree had a, a split in it. Um, and one branch completely fell off that split and the other one fell over it and was being supported up by a bunch of other trees uh, until it finally fell. Well, what we were worried about is it was ultimately going to continue to fall somehow. Fortunately, it did not. The other trees were holding it up until a tree company came. But that limb, we were really concerned that it was going to finally let loose and come over and hit our house. But um, all that we recovered from very nicely, very quickly. Uh, not a great price tag, but yeah, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, he was here within 24 hours. And we had this other huge tree fall down in our front yard that we yeah, we did up a, ourselves. We did a lot of cleaning up. We did a lot of cleaning up this year. Unfortunate, because uh, um, some of our, well, actually a lot of our time this summer was 
kind of devoted to improving our landscaping in our yard. And just when we felt like, well, now we can get back on our bikes, along comes a storm, knocks down <laughs> trees, and we start all over again with cleanup. Yeah. Anyway, I think we're rambling at this yeah, point. We are. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Except for we're being silly. So, where are we going next? We're going over to the harbor, oh, and we're cool. going to check in over there and see what's what. All right. But that's not going to be on the video. We're going to cut it off here. Um, ready? Okay. I'm ready. Okay. Let's go, Freddie. Thanks for watching. All right. See you next time. <laughs>